Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is about this um, dehumidifier. Um, it's one of those, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, it's a desiccant. Um, so it hasn't got a compressor in there. The good thing about these is um, they work down to about one degree centigrade, so if you use them in an outbuilding, um, they'll still work. Where if you use one of the traditional ones with a compressor in it, anything below about 10 degrees, uh, the coil will start to freeze. Um, it's, made, you know, it's a Miko uh, DD8L Junior. Um, it's got a, it says eight liters, so apparently it can draw eight liters a day. Um, I've turned it off at the moment, so the fan just like let me just show you the watt meter. When you turn it off, the fan still like circulates for a bit. Um, when the fan's just circulating, it's only using like say 26 watts. And I will say as well, I'll just put it on for an hour. And um, the windows are bound dry. No moisture on the windows now at all. Um, all the moisture's gone off the ceiling. So it definitely works. Um, I'll just quickly show you. There's mainly loads of videos out there. It's got a tank at the bottom there. Um, you take it out from the back and it's got um just squeeze past this gym so it's got different settings on the top so that turns it on so this is the fan speed so you can have it on like that would uh, that one there, it's like for when you want to dry your um, laundry. So if you put your laundry on a clothes horse, that will dry it. Um, so that's the fan speed. And then this is the moisture it takes out the air. So if you have it on the three, it will bring the humidity down to 45. I think, I think it's 45. If you put it on two, it will bring it down to, I think it's 55. And if you put it on one. I think it brings it down to 65. I'm not 100% sure of that, but and once it gets down to that level, it will shut off. So that will save you like energy. Um, so if I got on fan one, we're on the 65. You can see it's drawing 300. And, I don't know if you can see that, it's drawing, it's drawing 330 watts. If you put it onto like, if you put it onto the high setting. Uh, <coughs> squeeze past. <coughs> so when you put it on the high setting, it does draw quite a bit. It's about like so 650 watts. Well, so I've only put it on for an hour, and I'm really impressed pretty much got rid of all the condensation on the roof and then the roof now it's like yeah it's bone dry so that's the result um just turn that down a bit now I was gonna say when the garage or shed reaches that 65. 65 is good enough to uh, keep away mould and um, you know like the uh, condensation on everything. And everything's, everything's bound right now. So that is a result. I think I paid about 179 quid for it. Um, it's super lightweight as well because it hasn't got the um, the coils in it. It doesn't weigh nothing. Uh, anyway I thought that was a quick update. Um, waiting for the spindles to come for this to quick release spindles. Yeah, so it's only when it came, it's only had the one on there, it's only had the rear one. So I bought a set to uh, get this up and running. I'm also waiting for some cables on that um, to wire that in properly because uh, that's what I'll be doing. That dehumidifier that will be capable of running it. Whether I get enough sunlight to uh, keep the batteries charged up um, is sort of debatable. But 
Hopefully. Because like I say, once the humidity has um, reached its, um, you know, like dew point, like it's 65 percent, hopefully it doesn't kick in and out as often. So like it will stay, stay off for quite a while. But um, so yeah, I've disconnected the uh, tube heater. That didn't really work. It didn't really do anything. I mean, I'll keep it there, but um, I'm not going to really use it. But also with that one, these sort as well, they um, they do kick out a little bit of heat out the top, which in turn heats up the um, the shed. It's not a lot, but um, you can feel the difference when I come from outside in here. You can feel there's a a bit of a warmth. Anyway, so that was that. Um, and anyway, till next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.